In some areas of the Great Basin, seeing a rattlesnake is still a common sight. Great Basin rattlesnakes are predators and feed primarily on rodents like mice and chipmunks. These rodent prey carry diseases such as hantavirus and bubonic plague and cause significant damage to crops and other valuable human assets. The Great Basin is a high, cold desert. Most precipitation comes as snow. Great Basin rattlesnakes are ectothermic, meaning they can't internally regulate their body temperature. To survive the long cold winters, Great Basin rattlesnakes hibernate in communal dens. Some dens may provide overwintering habitat for over 200 rattlesnakes. These dens have been used by generations of rattlesnakes for thousands of years. Family lineages passed down maternally from mother to daughter rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes reproduce slowly. Females do not give birth for the first time until they are five to seven years old. Litters are small, ranging from five to 10 babies per litter. Females do not breed annually. Reproduction happens every three to five years. This combination of small, infrequent litters and delayed reproduction makes the reproductive rate of Great Basin rattlesnakes more similar to larger animals like grizzly bears and whales than to other snakes and reptiles. Slow reproduction also leaves rattlesnake populations vulnerable to killing by humans. Although rattlesnakes have many predators and can die from cold, heat, and even rockfalls, Humans are a primary threat to rattlesnake populations. Great Basin rattlesnakes can be found across a vast, large area, most of Nevada, half of Utah, and parts of Idaho, Oregon, California, and Arizona. This distribution includes some of the most remote, least populated areas of the country. Nevertheless, where humans and rattlesnakes come together, conflict is almost inevitable. Rattlesnakes are venomous, but pose very little risk to humans. Most people bitten by rattlesnakes are trying to kill or catch the rattlesnake. Human development like roads and housing areas combined with intentional killing by people place large numbers of rattlesnakes in danger of disappearing. In order to understand Great Basin rattlesnakes and help them coexist with people, I've studied rattlesnakes for the last two decades. Rattlesnakes are viewed as important resources by Great Basin National Park, and protecting both rattlesnakes and people is core to the mission of the National Park Service. My study is a capture, mark, recapture study. I capture snakes at their den sites, mark them using small electronic tags, then try to recapture them again in subsequent years. Since 1999, I've captured and recaptured over 2,000 rattlesnakes. These data allow me to precisely estimate snake survival, longevity, reproduction, population growth, and abundance. I also measure the snakes, determine their sex, track growth rates, collect genetic samples, and photo document their coloration and patterns. This study is one of the longest running studies on rattlesnakes in the world. Over the past 20 years, I found out that rattlesnakes can live to be at least 25 years of age in the wild. I expect as the study continues, we'll find that they can live even longer. I've learned that rattlesnakes are creatures of habit, and they're very loyal to particular den sites and home ranges. They tend to do the same things in the same places every year. I've learned that rattlesnakes are gentle creatures with elaborate and sophisticated social systems. They seem to genuinely enjoy each other's company. I've also learned that a warming climate seems to be causing rattlesnakes to emerge from hibernation a few days earlier each year on average. I hope to find out how this earlier emergence and warming climate is affecting both rattlesnakes and their rodent prey. Learning about rattlesnakes helps Great Basin National Park more effectively protect rattlesnake populations and park visitors. Healthy rattlesnake populations are an indicator of a functioning ecosystem where rattlesnakes can help people and society by controlling disease and rodent populations.